One of my favorite stories of all time is John Diaz, who was in an infamous plane crash uh, with Singapore Airlines. Everything was burning. They later told us we had like 12 seconds to get out from the point of when that plane stopped its motion to when the fire completely engulfed uh, uh, the plane. And you could feel the heat, everything was melting. I tried to go out the door, the slide chute deploys, hits the ground, hits me like an airbag. Wow. Yeah. It was a second later yeah. that I thought I was actually de uh, dead because uh, I see a gentleman, Asian gentleman, come running right up to me, fully aflame. And I could see all his features, and there was a look of wonder on his face, like he didn't even know he was dead and burning. And I figured, well, I must be the same. And my eyes were just, they weren't streaming tears anymore, they were like totally dry. Mm -hmm. And um, every joint in my body ached. But I thought, okay, I've survived this okay, I moved all right. Um, so I got very proactive as we got into a triage situation, trying to help as many people as I can in a really horrible situation. At first, the little, our little group, we thought that we were the only people to survive. So you're not, you don't believe it was divine or not divine? Or... No, I don't believe it was divine. I did see, as I got knocked back into the plane, it looked like a Dante's Inferno mm -hmm. uh, with people strapped in to their seats and just burning. And, and it seemed to look like an aura was leaving their bodies. <laughs> um, and uh, some brighter than others and it really? changed it gave me a kind of a new spirituality in a sense that i oh, believe life I continues on really and i thought you know the brightness and dimness of the auras were how one <laughs> lives one's life so mm -hmm. to speak so um that's one of the major things that really has changed with me since then is um i want to live my life so my aura when it leaves um is very bright other than the pain, how did it change your life? Uh, I'm truly a much more empathetic person yeah. right Because you're trying to get your aura to be brighter than it I'm was. trying to get, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm trying to get mine much brighter than all of yours. <laughs> well, we're glad you're alive to tell us that story. I not only loved that story and got chills, goosebumps when I heard that story, I believe that story. And whether you believe that story or not, what I have seen, known, heard, and felt for myself is that we all have an energy field and force, whether you can see it or not, and what you're putting out into the world is coming back to you all the time. Everybody has felt this at some point in your life. I know you have, because we all have. You walk into a room, and all of a sudden the room gets quiet and you realize the people in that room have been talking about you. And you can tell by the way you feel and the way they are behaving, whether or not the things they've been saying are good things about you or not so good things about you. Or you're around somebody whose energy just makes you feel down. And you know whether that person has a strong, bright light energy feel or something that's darker, based upon the way you feel when you are around them. Do people make you feel better or do you feel worse every time you get off of a phone call with a certain person? That is how you know. What I know is, is that I wanna live the kind of life that at the end of my days, I can say, I was able to shine with the brightest light possible.